Hello and welcome back to EDO90. Today, we'll be taking a quick look at the Explore feature in Google Slides. Google Slides is a versatile tool that helps educators and students create and collaborate on all types of presentations. And with Explore, you can streamline workflows and create better presentations faster with enhanced design and improved formatting in just a few clicks. Let's get started. For this episode, we'll take a look at the two main benefits of the Explore feature, search and formatting. And we'll use this basic presentation on polar bears as an example. You might not have noticed it before, but the Explore button is in each of your Google Slides files and located in the bottom right corner. Let's navigate there to start. We'll first leverage Explore to search the web and simplify our research. Explore saves users time and energy by enabling search across web and Google Drive files right from your presentation and without having to switch to another window. I'd like to add some extra information to this presentation. So to do this, I'll enter polar bear weight in the Explore search bar, select web, and lots of results will appear. I'm going to look through them and this Polar Bears International website looks like a credible source. So I'll use their data and add the typical weight of 775 to 1300 pounds to my presentation. We all know that imagery is a key element of compelling presentations. The Explore search functionality can help here too by sharing approved images for inclusion. To do this, I'll run an image search for polar bear diet. And when I find one that I'd like to use, I'll click the small plus sign that appears at the top of the picture when I hover over it. Notice how the image can be adjusted to fit well into my slide and that when I click it, I can see the image source as well. With Explore, users can easily access ideas for layout suggestions and apply them to slides for just the right look. This is a huge help for busy teachers looking for ways to save time in order to focus on their most important priorities. To do this, select Explore and then check out the options for the selected slide. Once you've found one that you like, choose it and then continue on to subsequent slides. Nice and easy. Well, I think our presentation is ready for prime time. In the comments below, share your experiences using Explore or let us know what functionality you'd like to see added next. Explore more EDUN90 by watching past episodes. And as always, you can hear what's new from Google for Education by subscribing to our YouTube channel. See you next time. Thanks for joining us for EDUN90. Check out our last episode where we look at how coding can make ELA lessons engaging with the CS First program and Scratch.